the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 26, Exodus 21 to 23. Holiness within the market. God intended to raise up the whole of Israel as a beautiful community of faith while letting them know the specific rules of how to implement the Ten Commandments. First point, God gave the Israelite nation laws and commandments, which were so thorough that they even covered the behavior of one's cow. God gave the Israel nation thorough laws on top of the Ten Commandments. All these laws directed towards a holy way of living. God's laws were so precise and detailed that it even outlined how the owner of a livestock should act if an animal ruined a neighbor's fields. However, if it was known that the bull had the habit of goring, yet the owner did not keep it penned off, the owner must pay animal for animals and take the dead animal in exchange. Moreover, God's laws centered on protecting the weaker people in society. This was because the Israelites knew what it was like to be a foreigner in a strange land. Another important law was this, but if there is a serious injury, you ought to take life for life, eye for eye, tooth for tooth, hand for hand, foot for foot, bone for bone, wound for wound, bruise for bruise. This did not mean take revenge for every wrongdoing, but to value others' possessions and to care for one's neighbor as oneself. Second point, it is unrighteous for a human to make another human into a servant or a slave. God's laws prioritized the holy way of living. In particular, the law about canceling debt on the seventh year really reveals how important God considered giving people freedom. These are the laws you are to set before them. If you buy a Hebrew servant, he is to serve you for six years. But in the seventh year, he shall go free without paying anything. The Israel nation would have understood best the reasons behind the law to cancel that because they themselves were slaves in Egypt. Each and everyone's lives are valuable as God's individual creations. Therefore, it is wrong to force someone to act as a slave. Further down the Old Testament, we come across an important instance concerning the freeing of slaves. King Zedekiah in the book of Jeremiah temporarily freed all Israel's slaves. But sadly, the king and his subjects went back on their word very soon. But afterward, they changed their minds and took back the slaves they had freed and enslaved them again. God then spoke to South Judah through Jeremiah. And so, the Jerusalem walls were set on fire and destroyed by the Babylonian Empire. I am going to give the order, declares the Lord, and I will bring them back to the city. They will fight against it, take it, and burn it down. And I will lay waste the towns of Judah so no one can live there. Third point, God in heaven always sees people's judgment with interest. A bribe is not something for the poor. Bribery takes place between those with wealth and power. But the God of justice tells the people of Israel to not accept or to offer bribes, especially during trial. In the Bible, 
A case that shows a righteous form of a trial is Boaz's marriage to Ruth in the book of Ruth. Oppositely, the Bible also records unjust trials, an example being Naboth's Pinard trial. Fourth point, Sabbath is for the people to rest. God gave humans as well as all living creatures a day to rest after working for six days. Another purpose for the Sabbath was in order for the people to participate in offering to God. On the basis of a Sabbath was also the sabbatical year and the year of a Jubilee. It is very important to keep Sabbath as it is the designated day where we praise God our Creator. Fifth point, show yourselves to God three times a year. On top of commanding his people to keep Sabbath, sabbatical year, and the year of Jubilee, God also commanded his people to keep Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of Tabernacle. This was because God wanted to meet with his people three times a year. It was for the war in order to preserve the community of faith. These laws that God gave were valid for 1,500 years until Jesus proclaimed it is finished on the cross. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.